Here's the handoff again to Lindsay. And it is a Denver touchdown. The Denver Broncos select. 2017 now, Phil, in our draft flashback list. The Broncos were looking for offensive line help. They needed, they wanted to find some answers at the tackle position. Not a very deep position in 2017, but they found an athletic marvel in Garrett Bowles. Yeah, Garrett Bowles, the first tackle off the board in that draft. And, you know, definitely looking for some offensive line help. And I think that the jury is still out on Garrett Bowles. A lot of excitement now heading into his third season, getting to work with Mike Munchak. I think there's a lot of excitement around what Derek or Garrett Bowles can do next season. Well, you think about it, do you remember the combine when he just lit it up on the field, those the sprints and just the agility that he showed? He's got those tools. He's got the athleticism and he's got the right mindset. He's got a nasty approach to the game, very physical player. He started both his years here, so you know he's got the playing time, he's got some experience now under his belt. Let's see what he can do. Very successful college career, only a couple of years because he'd kind of gone through some hardships as a younger man had gone through um, the JUCO route and then went to Utah. Very mature though, he had a young son when we that we're going to see in just a second, but um, a very mature guy when he got here. Yeah, he's a little bit older. You know, he went on a mission down in Colorado Springs, then he went to Snow College, and then just the one year in Utah. So, you know, he's a little bit older, and Kingston stole the show on draft <laughs> night. The Denver Broncos select Garrett Bowles. Tackle, Utah. All right, somebody wake up the baby. <laughs> Eisen said it best. Yeah, Somebody exactly. the baby. This was probably, where does this rank for you as far as draft night scenes? Because this was probably in my top three. Oh, well, it was awesome. He walked out on stage holding the baby. When he got to the facility, I remember doing an interview with him. I was like, hey, like, get Kingston in the interview. So uh, that was definitely a, a nice moment. And I'm sure that's something Garrett Bowles will look back on fondly. Yeah, there were a lot of fun moments for Garrett Bowles, his first couple of uh, first couple of hours as a Denver Bronco, including one of the most memorable phone calls that we've ever heard from a first round draft pick to John Elway. Congratulations, Garrett. You got it, man. We're excited you're gonna be a Bronco. There you go, you'll be here, you'll be here tomorrow. We we'll look forward to seeing you. We're thrilled you're going to be a Bronco. You're going to have a great career with us. Uh, all right, buddy. We we'll love you, too, and congratulations. <laughs> we love you. You don't know how much we love you. <laughs> you that, was, that was amazing. You were in yeah. the room for that phone call. <laughs> what was, was going through your mind when you saw that? Garrett Balls has had some of the more memorable moments <laughs> like uh, with regards to that. I remember he said, I'm going to protect Trevor Simeon like he's my wife. Yes. Uh, so some memorable little sound bites. I love you to John L.A. Uh, I'm not sure if he's ever gotten a phone call like that. <laughs> oh, he certainly has not. And actually, Bowles addressed the phone call his first day when he met the media and made no apologies for saying I love you to John L.A. Like I said, I did say I love you um, because I appreciate what he did. You know, he, you know, he could have chose a lot of other people, but he chose me. Um, to come in and to make a big impact with this great organization and that's what I plan on doing and I told him you know what I'm not going to let him down and work my butt off to get what he wants out of me and and that's a promise. Garrett Bowles has definitely gone through some adversity in his time as a Bronco you know just some inconsistencies on the field and he's had some really high moments and then there have been some disappointing moments as well there's no doubt but you cannot question, you know, his motivation because he comes to work every day. Yeah, he said, hey, I promise that I'm going to come to work and work hard every single day. He's done that. He's got a lot of different position coaches. Now, finally, a guy like Mike Munchak coming in. I think that uh, getting a guy like Munchak working with Bulls every single day, you know, I think we saw improvement from year one to year two, hoping that now he takes that uh, leap from year two to year three. You know, he mentions that there is other guys that John could have taken. You know, I think he, Bowles is going to be connected to Ryan Ramchek for a long time. Ramchek maybe had a little bit more success at this point, you know, but he's also played with a veteran quarterback like Drew Brees. So, you know, I think that maybe some more consistent quarterback play, maybe some consistency from the coaching staff, and I think maybe you can see uh, that pay off for a guy like Bowles. Do you like the hat? I know you. Uh, I love that draft like hat. hat? Okay. I like this year's draft hat. I know I'm in the minority with that, it's but. Cool, with Denver flag. That one's pretty cool yeah. too, though. A little bit of shine, a little bit of sparkle. Um, I like that look there, too. I can't let you go without getting the, the, uh, the fashion. Uh, the fashion exactly, pricing. exactly. All right, this one's pretty recent, but the next draft flashback, we're going to 2018, not even a full year ago. 
And I know most of Broncos country can guess who we're going to be talking about. That's next. We'll be right back.